how does vintage begin? Well, we sit down as a brewing team and we think about what we want to do different this year to last. Vintage is always at 7.5% alcohol, so that's an important feature. Every vintage obviously has pale malt, which is the base for every beer, uh, and generally all the vintages have a lot of crystal malt. But the main element that we change each year are the hops. So this is where we have a bit of fun as a brewing team. And then we do a little thing called Hop Idol, where we'll taste all these beers with the various hops. And then we give them a score. Yeah, so that's what they refer to in terms of the Hop Idol, yes. <laughs> and it's unanimous that we want is more business, but a balanced business. We've been brewing vintages at around about the 40 bitterness units. We are now moving to the 60s. 60 is the new 40. This year we're using a hop variety called Melba. Melba's one that Ellerslie Hop Estate deliberately developed with the mind to it being used in Cooper's Extra Strong Vintage Ale. Melba actually imparts strong stone fruit character to the vintage, uh, and that I'm talking things like peach, hence it's probably named after Dane Nelly Melba, Peach Melba. For about 100 kilograms of hops for this year's vintage, we have Melba. Ella. And Vic's Secret. And then we dry hop with Stu and Golding's Touch Your Cascade for that extra lift at the end. One of the things that we've got on our side with Vintage is the Cooper's Ale Yeast. And that, that ale yeast has been in the family for over a hundred years. Quality control at Cooper's Brewery is exhaustive. Yes, we leave nothing to chance. And if there's an opportunity to drink the beer and make sure that it's right, we take it. In the case of Vintage, I'll be out there potentially on day three of fermentation out of a six day fermentation, taking a sample from the fermenter and actually drinking it from the fermenter. I think we absolutely achieved what we uh, set out to do. 2015 for me is a very exciting vintage because Melba comes from our dear friends at Ellerslie, it is sort of like more of a partnership than any other year. We've tried again to get a nice balance of aroma hops. I think people will be impressed with the striking citrus and stone fruit characters. Thomas is out there looking at us all times. He started the company in 1862, so we you know we hope he's proud of what we've done 153 years later.